Hey guys, welcome to Central Kids Clubhouse. It's December, and you know what that means. We're getting ready for Christmas time. Our theme this month is Wait For It, because we are anticipating and waiting for the birth of Jesus so we can celebrate together. It's time to get up, find a good spot, and get ready to worship with us. And heaven, and heaven, and nature sing. Jay. I got the J to the O to the Y. J to the O to the Y. I got the J. It's mail time. Let's see what's in the mail today. It's our memory verse. And this is our last day doing this memory verse together before Christmas. So let's do it together one time. And then the second time, I'll do the actions and you say the words. Are you ready to try? The angel said to them, don't be afraid. I bring you good news that will be a joy to all the people. Luke. 210. All right, here we go. Your turn. Luke 210. Great job, friends. It's time for Wardrobe of Wonder. What could be inside today? Let me see. Oh, I know what it is. Clue number one they're white something that is white. Can you guess? Lots of things are white. Clue number two, you would see them on an angel. What does an angel have on it that's white? Let's see. Oh, it's angel wings. Did you guess angel wings? 
Today, we're going to hear a super special story about an angel named Gabriel. Let's watch together and be sure to look for the angel wings. that I want to share with you cool guys and gals. I'm in a crazy mood today and I'm excited to show you this project I've been working on all week. So have you guys ever heard of the Guinness Book of World Records? So in this book they have the most wildest things that people did that seem impossible to do. In it there are skateboarding dogs, yes skateboarding dogs, the world's largest pizza. Can you imagine that? A pizza bigger than a house? Yes, it's not impossible. It actually exists. Friends, there's even a record of the tallest sand castle ever made. I want to build one of those. I read it's about as tall as three giraffes. There are so many cool things that people did that seem impossible, but they did it. So I thought to myself, Kelly, you're pretty cool, right? And your fans think you're pretty awesome too. Why not try one of these impossible projects? So I did. Are you ready for the challenge? I think you are. I will attempt to solve this Rubik's Cube in record time. Think I can? I will try right after today's Bible story. It's time for our Bible story. Today we will hear about a very special story we will learn about an angel named Gabriel. God sent Gabriel to Nazareth to meet a woman named Mary. Mary was about to be married to a man named Joseph. And Gabriel greeted Mary and said, God has blessed you in a special way. God is with you. But Mary was worried. It's not every day an angel pops up and says that. Absolutely, Gabriel knew that she was worried. He said to her, do not be afraid, Mary. God is very pleased with you. You are going to have a baby and you will call him Jesus. Jesus is the son of God. But Mary was confused because she wasn't even married. How could that happen? Well, then how could she have a baby? Well, God has the power to make it happen. God used the angel to tell Mary that a miracle would happen, but she would have to wait and see how it would happen. God through Gabriel told her, whatever God says will come true. When Mary heard this, she relaxed and promised to serve God. And did it happen like the angel said? You bet it did. Jesus was born even though it was impossible. But that was just the beginning. God was planning and doing even more impossible things through Jesus. Wait and see, God will do impossible things. That's our story today, friends. God sent the angel Gabriel to tell Mary about Jesus. He was going to do impossible things. And so can we with his help because Jesus is our savior. Let's pray together. Dear God, thank you so much for sending Gabriel. Thank you for Mary and thank you for your savior, son, Jesus Christ, amen. Well, guys, it's almost Christmas time and I'm so excited. I hope you are too. Have a great week and Merry Christmas. <laughs>